So you want to learn how to take off outsoles, right? So I'm going to let this video jump right in, but as you can see, you're going to need a heat gun, of course a shoe of your choice, some Q-tips, acetone, acetone is very important, a lasting pincer and a screwdriver. So on this shoe, I already took off the back piece, but I'm going to show you guys another shoe when I'm taking off the back piece from the jump. Now, I don't know if you guys caught that, but I'm really moving around the heat gun. Do not leave it in one place, otherwise it'll burn the outsole and it'll burn the foam positive material. So really move that heat gun around back and forth and watch it so you don't burn anything. So as you can see, I use the Q-tips and I dip it in acetone and I allow that to kind of get into the little crevices after it's heated. The acetone really goes in and really burns out the glue inside the shoe. Alright, now don't be afraid to use the heat gun over and over. Like The biggest thing is to make sure that the outsole is heated. The more heated it is, the easier it is to, take to get the glue off. And like I said before, move it around side to side. As you, as you can see, the light on the heat gun is not going on the foam part. It's on the outsole, it's going back and forth consistently on the bottom and everything. Yeah. And also as you're doing it, be careful with the carbon fiber. Because if you let it sit on the heat too much as well, it'll start molding out of shape. And that's going to be a hassle. I've, I've done that before when I first started doing this. And uh, you don't want to do that. What I'm doing now is I'm testing to see how hot it is and um, you'll know by just touching it. If it's too hot to touch, then it's good to go. You have to be careful you don't burn yourself. But if, it, if you can touch it and it's not burning you, add the heat gun again. Now, if you look closely, I'm really trying to dig in with the Q-tip and the acetone inside those corners to peel it off. Now this is where the lasting pincer comes in. So when the outsole is really hot and you can't grab it with your own fingers, I get the elastic pincer and I peel it back, but not too hard. If you do, you're gonna rip the outsole. It's very sensitive right now when it's hot. So peel it back so you can expose more to glue and that's to tone it out. Alright, now we're almost done with the first pair and um, I really want to target this area right here, right underneath the, the toe box. So, you know, you don't want to go over the toe box, at least I don't, because I plan on adding a light to them, but I don't want to remove the actual entire sole. I want to keep it intact, but just kind of move off as much as I can by leaving the top part still glued on, because nothing beats the factory glue that's on here. I'm okay with letting the acetone drip down on actual foam positive material and staining the material because I'm going to paint over it anyway. Just getting these last little corners at the top without going too far to fully remove the outsoles. And again, if you want to remove the outsoles, you can. So we're done with the first pair and as you can see it's very minimal stretching or tearing you know if not any at all i mean i've done this for a while now so i'm going to show you guys the second pair and where i start from which is going to be the back heel and show you guys how to open up the back heel to really start getting into it all 
All right, so just to recap. Heat gun, handy, and I'm gonna attack the back heel first. That's the easiest part to remove. Cause the back part, the outsole is uh, the widest part out of the entire shoe. So take that part off. And again, I'm not worried about acetone dripping because I plan on painting the base anyways. Now this is where the screwdriver comes in. And what I do is I grab the screwdriver and I try to get inside the cracks, really open it up by twisting it, but not jamming it in it. Otherwise I'm gonna pierce through the outsole, through the foam, you don't wanna do that. So you slightly nudge it in there. Once it starts opening up, you put acetone in it and it starts opening up even faster. As you can see, here I'm starting to finally get in it a little bit. You know, I gotta add more heat to it, but little by little, I'm starting to screw, use the screwdriver to open it up so I can actually get the sole off. And now I'm finally able to get the Q-tip with the acetone inside the outsole. So I'm just shoving that in there, getting the acetone in deep, so it's supposed to kill off that glue and peel it back. All right, as you can see, we have a nice little opening here. So I'm gonna grab that lasting pincer to hold it open because it's a little hot and it'll help me get a good grip on it and then pour acetone in it. And now that we have it more open, it's important to really get those edges because if you peel it back and those edges are still glued, it's gonna rip. So there you have it, we have two outsoles removed, not completely, but 95%, if not 98% removed. Again, I kept the top parts on it because that factory glue seals up that toe box area very well. Good at lights for these, so if you liked the video, like the video, until next time.